Let's go to Romans chapter 8, verse 1. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. So what does that mean there? There is therefore now no condemnation. So what does condemnation mean? Let's look it up. The expression of very strong disapproval, censure. So condemnation is like, hey, I am condemning you for something that you have done wrong. Okay. So there is therefore now no condemnation, no strong disapproval to them which are in Christ Jesus. What does it mean when you are in Christ Jesus? You are following his rules and regulations. You have repented of your sins. So there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. So no one can condemn you of your past sins after you have repented and you are following his rules and regulations. So no one can come to you and remind you of your past sins. Once you repent, God has forgiven you of your past sins. So no one has the right to bring them up. If they do, more than likely, they may not be of God. So let's say that you have done something really bad in the past. Let's say that as a woman, you have slept with 200 guys or you've been a prostitute or something like that. And as a guy, you may have done the same or have killed people, so on and so on. What this is saying, once you repent of your sins and begin to follow God's rules and regulations, no one can condemn you of your past sins. So even if a voice in your head is saying, you have no right to try to be a Christian because of every bad thing that you have done, that thought that voice is satanic. Don't listen to it. Why? Because there is therefore now no condemnation to people who are serving God. After you have repented of your sins and began to follow the rules and regulations of God, no one can condemn you of your past sins. Okay, which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So what does it mean to walk after the flesh? Sinning. Like you are having sex before marriage. You are having sex with someone's husband or wife. You are cursing people out. You are being very lewd, rude crude, <laughs> mean, whatever else. That is walking after the flesh. The flesh is seen as something sinful. So if you walk after the flesh, you are doing sinful things. So what are you doing when you are walking after the spirit, but after the spirit? That means that you are following God's rules and regulations. So don't walk after the flesh, but walk after the spirit. I pray that makes sense. So if you begin to feel really bad about your past sins, now that you have repented and are following God's rules and regulations, Get rid of 
that condemning spirit, that demon or that person that is reminding you of your past sins now that you are doing right. Now, if you are still in sin, there is condemnation upon you <laughs> because you are still in sin. But if you are not in sin now, no one can condemn you. No one can. No human or demon can. Your conscience, your thoughts, nothing can condemn you now that you are doing right by God, if you are doing right by God. But condemnation comes to those, hmm, yes, condemnation comes to those, comes to those that are not following God's rules. I pray that this makes sense. So follow God's rules, not your own. God bless.